Scorpio couples, this is your reading for January 2018. Hello, glad that you're here. So let's talk about your energy. Okay, so your energy talks about not paying attention. Okay, this month. I feel like you're not paying attention to things that have to do with um, career or finance, but this is the thing though. It has something to do with money and it has something to do with your partner, okay? Um, maybe they're spending too much money or they're not budgeting very well. Um, there's a problem there and it's like you don't wanna pay attention to it or you're just not ready to pay attention to it. On the bottom of the deck, you had the star card in reverse, okay? And this talks about being not ready to heal something. It also talks about you not having faith within a situation, okay? Because it looks like you're not making a judgment, okay? And there is a judgment that you need to make. It's like you need to wake up and see. You also have the hair, the high priestess that came up as well, okay? So it's like things are being brought to your attention when it comes to finances or your work, your career, and your partner that you're not paying attention to, okay? So here in the past, um, you have the seven of pentacles in reverse, okay? And for me, what I'm getting from this is very much um, you try to invest time into something. You may have been investing money in your partner or putting money away to save money. Um, and that talks about you needing to pay attention to that money. And that's why I feel like it's there. I feel like it's there because you need to pay attention to it in, in some way. Okay. Yeah. It looks like you need to go back and check on that money. Okay. Um, it also talks about you investing time into your partner, um, by trying to rekindle something and not getting the love back or the same type of effort back from your partner. So you right now are the nine of cups in reverse. Not a very good feeling. It just feels like you're not happy. It feels like you're not getting what you want here. Okay. And I feel like you're not paying attention to it or you're hoping that it will get better um, by not paying attention to it. As your challenge, you have the page of pentacles in reverse. This may have something to do with your partner not having a job, not putting the same amount of effort or money in. Um, I'm actually hearing something about frivolous investments. Okay. It may have something to do with a fire sign that's very scattered. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they're all over the place. Um, they could be having some issues with the law as well. And you or your partner is trying to help them out or you're trying to help your partner with some legal issues. Okay. And what's happening is I feel like it's digging you in a hole. Um, it's digging you all in a hole. Okay. And it's, it's really because I feel like you're trying to help somebody out. I really do. I feel like you're trying to help somebody out or they are. Um, and this fire sign is very uh, pushy or is like, I really need your help. I have nothing. I am in debt. Da, 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 da. And they're really trying to help this other person out. It may also be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn as well. Okay. But what happens is because of this, it's digging you in a hole and it's time for you to make a decision about this, about what it is that you're going to do. Okay. Um, because it leaves you in a bad predicament. Of course, yes, you're helping someone, but you also have to think about yourself as well. Okay. And I feel like, yeah, you need to get clear. You need to get clear on what's happening. I feel like they don't want the best for you. They're just using you. Okay. So, so be careful about that. Um, you and your partner, you had this money or were investing this money or hoping that you could help someone move or help someone do better. 
okay um you took a risk to help them out and it just looks like they're going back to their old ways or how they are and um, you're not really making a change okay so be careful about going back into the same cycle with this person you and your partner so the first um, the first of the 15th of January, like the first half, this is you struggling, okay? Trying to work things out, trying to help other people, trying to pay your own bills, trying to, uh, yeah, see, it's hurting your family life to help this person. Not saying that it's not okay to help people, but it doesn't look like it's helping you out any. Yeah, you're struggling, you're fighting to stay above water, okay? So at the end of the, of the last half of January, you have the Ace of Wands, okay? And I feel like you wise, you wise up, okay? Yeah, you start to heal from this situation, okay? Um, with the Ace of Wands, I feel like very interesting okay because i feel like there is confusion um I, it's very interesting because i feel like the more you go along in the month the more this fire sign pushes because they know that you're starting to see what's happening because it feels like it gets stronger and stronger okay to leave you confused or kind of in illusion about what's going on like they're really not telling you everything okay but you're trying to heal from it now because you're starting to see what's happening it's like it's growing within you like you're starting to understand more and more and you're going to make a sacrifice okay you're going to make a sacrifice to say listen i know that you just don't have your stuff together you need to be an adult and you need to do what you need to do okay in your environment this is you feeling stuck okay with your partner i feel like it's very interesting because I feel like you have an understanding, but your partner is still like, we need to help this person, but you don't know what to do. You just feel stuck. You have the idea, you know what you should do, but for some reason, I feel like your partner just isn't on the same path as you are. And this may be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay. I feel like there's an earth sign involved as well, okay? But I feel like the earth sign is trying to help you out, okay? So on the bottom of the, or not the bottom of the deck, <laughs> in your your outcome, you have the, the empress in reverse. The empress in reverse talks about you not feeling good about a situation, okay? It's like you're not feeling good about this situation because you're doing this for love. You're doing it because you care. You're doing it because you want to help. But it's not good for you know that something is off. You know that something is wrong and you're ready to stop. Okay? You're just trying to figure out the best way to do it or the best way to spring this on your partner. The best way to tell your partner, I think we're being tricked or duped. Um, and I feel like you'll figure it out by the end of the month, the way to tell them that this isn't helping. Okay. 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 So the extended reading... What I'm going to talk about is advice for you on how to tell your partner what's going on. Um, also, let's see what else we're going to talk about. Yeah, the best way to get your partner to, to help or move. Actually, I'm just going to do a spread. I'm going to do a spread for you singles because it's a little bit into it so if you want to see the the secondary spread for couples please become a member that link is in the description box below and i will see you next month i love you very much love and light